What is up? If you're wondering why I'm so hyper, it's because I it's because I didn't sleep at all last night, so I drank a bunch of <laughs> coffee. <laughs> as you can see and that's basically it so so today what we're gonna be doing or what i'm gonna be doing is i am going to go to school pictures which is a big problem for me because i got significantly uglier than last year not a shocker but i'm gonna be giving a tutorial i know me giving a tutorial who would follow my like you know however I'm gonna do a natural school makeup thing because that's what I'm doing for pictures. I know a lot of people have already started school and maybe they need, they need some advice. Because uh, as you can tell, I have really bad acne. Let's just go into the light a little bit more. My acne sucks ass, fuck you. But, so I completely cover all of it up while trying to still look natural. Maybe that's not exactly what happens but let's just pretend it is i'm in the middle of redoing my room so if it looks like shit that's why so basically i'm going to be doing my makeup for school pictures and i'm going to be telling you what i'm doing uh yeah, natural school makeup here we go so I know this is a makeup routine but i'm doing my hair so for school normally i curl my hair every single day just because it gives it more oomph. So I just use this Remington curling iron that I got for like 17 bucks. And just curling it. I don't know. I'm not really going to give a tutorial because I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll see you after my hair is curled. Let's see if I can do a transition. <laughs> I did my hair. It actually turned out pretty good. Um, present plus... Present, pleasantly surprised. I'm still trying to, my picture that I took last year turned out really good. So I keep looking at it and trying to do like the pose that I was doing. And it was like, I can't do it. <laughs> okay. Makeup time. First step is eyebrows. And I'm going to do those off camera because I don't have the time for that. So I just did my eyebrows. I used the e.l.f. stuff that I used to use last year because it looked good in the pictures and it didn't like look weird, you know? So definitely recommend this. It's like three bucks. I used, to clean it up, I just used my hand to mix the um, Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. This stuff is amazing. It's It says that it's mattifying, but it's it's... It's more like glowy, that's why I mixed it with this, and then I mixed it with the Ciate Karate, I don't fucking know, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer, just so it looks like, you know, not dry, because I have like combination skin, so it looks dry and oily at the same time, and then I mixed it with the Tarte Shape Tape. So now for the base, I'm taking that too, it looks really dark, but I swear it matches. And I am just putting this right here and all here and anywhere else I have acne. So I'll update you when that is done. Okay, that is done. I look really pale right now. But don't worry, I'll fix that with bronzer. And I'll make sure to do a lot of it because, as you can tell, I didn't get much outdoor time during the summer because I just sat inside all the time and was sad. So there's the. Oh, I also forgot, I used this primer. This is the primer that I usually use, just because it does a good job blurring. Now we're going to move on to bronzer and blush. I'm going to be using this Hula bronzer. Kind of lighten up my face, or darken up my face, too. Um, apply this, and I'll be back. Now that I look like this, I'm definitely not keeping it this way, and I'm making sure to get... This area underneath here because I got fatter over the summer but I don't want people to know that so I just blend the shit out of this like for a while and I'll get back to you when I blended it all out okay so now that I look less pale um it's blush time and I'm using my favorite blush it's the ColourPop 
super shock cheek and no vacancy and this is what it looks like let me do the beauty guru thing it's a really cute like corally blush but it's not like too pigmented to the point where like it's like what the fuck even though i love the look of that too i'm just doing it more naturally just so it looks like i'm blushing why did i use that to brush out my eyebrows okay this is the easiest part so i'm gonna skip past this so i did the blush i'm just gonna blend it out a little bit but once i add a highlighter and mascara i swear i won't look as crackheady no offense to the crackheads but that's a real take okay so now it's highlighter time i use the morphe m510 it's just it's just this one and then i'm gonna use my favorite highlighter the color pop super shock in flexitarian i don't like telling people what highlighter i use even though i get asked consider yourself lucky <laughs> so i usually do the inner corner first so i just dip my brush on in here and then i take this little mini thing that i got i think i got it in an ipsy bag i'm not really too sure i i just have it i don't remember buying it i spray some of that on there blow it maybe tap it in one more time and then i just pat it on the inner corner and in the inner corner i don't like doing it too too much just because and just blend it out with your finger and then i do the same right here and then i take a little bit more i put it underneath my brow bone but just so it gets like a little pop take a little bit more on my brush and then i just put a little bit on my nose look at that highlight look at that highlight look at that you cannot tell me that that's like not the best highlighter you've ever seen okay and then i just blend it out for my cheeks i use a different color pop highlighter in a different shade i changed my mind i'm gonna use my over highlighter because i think that's a really it's one of my favorites too it's a little bit more pricier than the color pop ones I feel like it's definitely worth the money if you want a good high-end highlighter. Both of them are amazing. Um, so, just take a little bit on my brush. I don't put the rose water on my, or the, the stuff on my brush when I do the cheeks. Just because, like, look at that. It's cray cray, it's cray cray fam. Just because then it makes it look sh like stripey. And then, I use this Claire's brush that I got literally forever ago. Just to kind of buff out the highlight. Just to make it look a little bit more natural. Like that. Looking pretty good fam, looking pretty good. Just take a little bit more. Okay. Now it's time for eyelashes. I'm just gonna skip through this part because it takes me a long time. Okay, I did my eyelashes. Um, and I'm just gonna take an eyeliner and just go uh, um on my eyelash line and just fill it in. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? You can see how bad my fucking skin is, that's for sure. Now that that is done, makeup's done. Okay, next up, clothing. So this is literally the makeup that I would normally wear for school. But that's besides the point. So clothes transition. Okay. I don't know if that transition was good or not, but I'm wearing this shirt that I got from Brandy Melville. These mom jeans are from American Eagle. This belt, I think, is from Forever 21. This necklace I made. These clips. And then I'm going to wear my Nike Air Force Ones. Pants, a shirt. Okay, that's it. That's really it. 